So let me go ahead and fix the background lighting in here. As you can see, my skin is um starting to glow a lot as well. It looks uh, extremely way healthy. Um, if you notice how my skin looked in the video that I did last year, and I also have some pictures, but it's starting to look a lot healthy, and um, I would definitely continue to use my blackhead suction tool. I like the fact that it really helped to um, get rid of some breakouts because it did. As soon as I like started vacuuming my face with the thing, like it really helped to pull up some breakouts that. Um, the activated charcoal wash that I'm using really hope. I don't know where is that. Okay, basically from Ponds. Um, this one is from Freeman's. It, it made basically one of the top products of, I believe, 2017. Um, and I believe it was Vogue or Bazaar, one of these fashion magazines. So this is a great product and I only paid about like $4. Probably cost a little bit more now. But I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to show you all um, just how much my skin, I mean, it's not a lot. I'm waiting for this, this um, area up here. It's actually pulling, you can see it. So I'm gonna take a thumbnail. I'm gonna take a screenshot because you can actually do that with the X. It allows you to take on um, thumbnail pictures, depending on the app that you're using. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this um, one more time for the week, that is. I always give my product a good shake. Um, and I use Emu Oil. Um, there's also sunscreen that I've, I have been using for a little while off and on. And that is from a company called Myconos, as I um, basically stated in yesterday's video that I uploaded or the video before. Uh, um, that I recorded, but I uploaded it yesterday. And it is a, it's actually a really great um, sunscreen. Not only is it a sunscreen, I think the reason why it's really great is because uh, it's not just a sunscreen alone, but it contains like an anti-Asian, and you, know, you have anti-Asian, uh, but of course it anti-wrinkles. Um, it also helps to whiten the skin, and um, it also basically helps to moisturize the skin. And as I tried to explain to my best um, ability the other day, um, it smells like, like when you basically open up one of those fashion magazines such as Bazaar, Harper's Bazaar, uh, or like Vogue, where it has like a sample perfume or a sample cologne in there. And it basically saturates like the whole pages with like that scent. That's basically what it smells like to me. Um, so I, I'm loving the way that my skin is looking. It looks really, really good. Like it looks so good. And as I told you all, well, I gave my skin like a break. Sorry, my um, camera has so there. Hopefully it won't again. Um, let me try not to up the brightness a little bit too much, but um, I love Koji White next to Koji Sand. I highly recommend um, Koji White's papaya. Koji Acid with papaya also was, um, why does this thing keep falling? Forgive me y'all. But I highly recommend this over, um, basically, our uh, Koji Sand. Let me turn on the brightness here. I highly recommend this. Um, what is wrong with this thing? Okay, give me one second. I think that's a little bit better than before. So I highly recommend this over um, Koji Sands due to the fact that it contains um, about three, like actually four natural skin whiteners, and that is uh, the Koji, uh, Koji Acid, you have papaya, which helps to exfoliate a lot, and also um, helps to basically, well, papaya actually dries out the skin, but you have um, alpha arbitin, alpha beta arbitin in here, which is actually nature's skin whiteners. It, um, next is basically a natural version of hydro, uh, 
uh, a natural version of hydroquinone. So it's nature's version of hydroquinone. So you have kojic acid, you have papaya extract in here, you have um, alpha and beta um, arbitin, and you also have licorice root. So for natural whiteners, along with hyaluronic acid to help uh, keep the skin moisturized. This is why this is like one of my favorite soaps and I have been using it for a while. But whenever you're using like a skin whitener, you wanna discontinue, especially if it's like your first time and my freaking camera is falling again here, yeah, please do not fall again. Um, you wanna to want to give your skin like a break for like about a week before using any skin white, uh, uh, skin p acid pills, especially um, triclosetric acid, which is TCA, or like a very strong strength of glycolic acid. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a good sh uh, shake. You also want to be careful and not really use like your cojic acid afterwards as well. And um, I really highly recommend something such as basically an activated charcoal wash. Um, this is one of the best washes that I've purchased. I didn't show because at the time I wasn't like uploading videos. Excuse me for the dryness, but that area of my skin is where my skin is getting ready to peel. But there's a ba uh, bamboo, is actually known as activated charcoal from Bio Aqua. And this is a really good soap. It came with a body scrub, a facial scrub. And it's not, it doesn't have like a, uh, it's not really like scented or anything. It doesn't contain like any scent perfumes. And yeah, so it's like really natural. Um, and you go ahead and use this thing, apply like your wash, and go ahead and get rid of that dust skin. I will be purchasing this again. I really love the fact that it helped to remove um, some open pores that I had on my nose, some whiteheads, and well, actually just open pores. Um, basically blackheads, that is, because remember, as I said, blackheads are open and whiteheads are closed. Um, and it really did a great job as far as like helping my my nose, like basically the pores on my my nose area to close. And I believe that if anyone was to use this along with the blackhead suction and removal tool, it would definitely uh, get the work. So I will be purchasing that again. So I'm gonna go ahead and be a little quiet here because I'm gonna apply this to my lips, and I don't want to talk while I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. <laughs> Um, why I apply this thing. So as I said, I like to give it a good shake. And also as I'm washing it off my face, I what I like to do is actually just basically, um, how do you say, just give my hand a good scrub with it. So, um, not scrub, you know what I'm trying to say, so. And it looks like blood, like pig's blood to me. So you don't want to use this any more than one time a week. I can feel that it's definitely stinging um, even more. Even though it's not like as powerful as like a uh, really, really high percentage um, base glycolic acid face um, chemical pill, or especially TCA because Lord knows TCA burns so much to the point that um, you can act like, you would definitely feel it like it yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I notice when I apply it, like my my stomach starts to basically, uh, how do you say? It's, it just feels like really like, um, just like if you ever been like extremely anxious, that's basically what it feels like whenever I apply a TCA pill, which I'm getting ready to do um, in a couple of months. So as I was telling you, it's great to get started with using something to help get the skin exfoliation process started, which is most professionals recommend. And I think that this actually is a great base to get that started. So let me go ahead and apply some of this to my lip. I'm having an issue with my MCN for some reason. I don't know, like, cause I have over the maximum amount, like ever since this new crap that's going on with YouTube and the reason why a lot of people are basically using, I mean, using, leaving, you know, the YouTube platform is because so many cha uh, huge channels are being demonetized. 
and I'm one of the lucky ones that you know my channel is not well actually skin whitening is very controversial but um and it actually should have been banned by YouTube you know but I won't say anything about that so so what I do is leave this on for 10 minutes as recommended like I did yesterday how I actually got my skin to do a great job at pulling is I allow for this to dry on my skin for 10 minutes and then I applied it again for an extra five minutes. So I'm gonna allow this thing to dry for 10 minutes and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So now that my face is pretty much washed, you can see that it truly is glowing. Um, and it also feels a lot smooth. So, I, you know, after using this thing for quite some time, um, it's been like a month that I've, two months actually that I've been using it off and on. Um, I stopped using it for actually like two weeks or three weeks out of the, the basically two months. I'm trying to open up some black charcoal. So which, because what you want to actually do, um, well, for those of you who are going to be as bold and daring as me and you want to, uh, why isn't this opening? Um, okay, there we go. You want to, you know, if you basically uh, use like any acid pills to um, help exfoliate your lips, which I have basically seen on YouTube, um, but except that was with someone who used like a glycolic acid, um, not even glycolic, but TCA, and I thought that it was really crazy. I never applied TCA to my lip, nor glycolic acid, would never do it, but I mean, an ordinary, since it's such a, a small percentage of a pill, um, 30% of glycolic acid actually isn't that small, but it doesn't really do anything for me, especially since I, um, my skin has grown tolerance since I've been using this thing since I was in like my early 20s. So I use something natural. I didn't use anything with alcohol in it, alcohol, alcohol in it, um, such as Colgate or Crest or whatever. So I have purchased this like, um, quite some time ago and it lasts like a really long time but I like to brush my teeth with this thing. It really does help to whiten up your teeth a lot and um it should be brushed with, with for about um two minutes with this thing. If you're gonna use this activated charcoal and as you can see it's like a mess. If you don't be um careful you gonna get just every damn wear. Um you can actually use this with your regular, uh, <coughs> use this with like your regular toothpaste or even a, um, a whitening toothpaste, teeth whitening toothpaste to help make it a little bit more effective. Plus 3D whitening um, toothpaste that I highly recommend. It's one of my favorite um, teeth whitening toothpaste, so. Damn, I just made like a huge mess. Like this thing really does make a mess. So, um, and I use Retin-A after um, applying like my alpha hydroxy acid, my basically the ordinary, simply, I'm gonna call it simply ordinary because that's just basically my nickname for this product. So after using simply ordinary, um, I use my Tretinoin as a face mask because my skin has built so much tolerance from using like glycolic acid and TCA from over the years, as I was just saying, um, and using tretinoin, which will definitely help your skin to build tolerance to any acid pill, um, chemical pills in your face, since tretinoin is a very tiny, small percentage of an alpha hydroxy acid, and the alpha hydroxy acid family, it will help your skin build tolerance. Um, All right, so let me crank up the brightness on this thing. Come on, do not fall. Maybe I should get like one of those tiny little um, tripods. Um, my skin looks like, really good. Um, but I go ahead and apply my tretinoin, as I said. This is 0.1%. Um, 
the dermatology office that I used to go to no longer um, accepts my insurance company so I need to find uh, another dermatology area nearby and I won't be using um, tretinoin since my skin built like uh, really I mean like high to I have a, like a really high tolerance to tretinoin now um, I have to move over to using Tazerac which I um, show you all me using about like two summers ago and it works really well. I was using like the gel form. My dermatologist actually gave me about like a thousand, two thousand dollars worth of the stuff. And one thing that I used to do that really got like the tretinoin to work, maybe that's what it is, is because you don't want to massage this into your skin. It's just basically apply it without massaging it. So just take a piece size amount and just damp it. I'm not going to be using um, the Micono Skin Whitening um, Lotion, but I use like my GNG um, to help give me just that extra exfoliation um, going on. And I use it as a face mask, so. This is something that I've been using as a face mask. And one thing that I need to do is get the, um, because you, you all know that Fair and White is another one of my favorite products, is the Fair and White face cream. It comes like in a little tool. Actually called, um, it's not cream. It's called, it is cream, but it's cream gel, gel cream or something like that. It's, uh, gel serum. Um, cream serum or something like that so this is what actually helped my skin like how i got my skin to exfoliate like even more like not my lip area but just like my face area and i allow for this to dry because it dries like really well i also apply this on my body i used to apply it on my body as a mask i just slap like a ton of this on and not like I would like massage it in and then put like another layer on and uh, allow for that second layer to dry, especially like around in my neck area because you don't want to walk around with a white looking face, high yellow looking face, bright face, whatever you're trying to achieve. Um, I'm not trying to get my skin to be any lighter. I mean, like one or two shades lighter. And since I haven't been using my product for such a long time, my skin has. I've gotten a little bit darker than it was, but I'll get it to actually lighten up again. So I don't want my skin to be, as I said, any lighter than it was. And I would definitely be using uh, draw formulas, collagen, well, Opatite, AKA collagen's glutathione formula. So I'll allow for this to dry. I actually, what I do for my hair area when, you know, when I don't shave and I haven't shaved for a little while since I've been using exfoliation pro uh, products, is basically massage this into this area right here. And just damp, like uh, little dabs on my neck, like damp it onto my neck, onto my ears and my hands, so. Anyway, I will be sharing with you guys tomorrow. Oh yeah, and I also go ahead and apply like once this is dry, like the tretinoin as a face mask. I used to show you guys like a really long time ago how I used to use tretinoin as a mask and it did like a really great job. So um, anyway, for those of you who are not, thank you so much for those of you who are subscribed to my page. For those of you who are not subscribed to my page, go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. Give me a couple of likes is basically what that means. Go ahead and leave a comment underneath the comment section. I want, even if it's just to say hi or um, let me know what products you guys are using. I don't think like most people actually watch my videos and so like, cause you know, like lately I've been doing like really, really long videos, like 15, 16 minutes, 20 minutes. And I'm not like Shane Dawson or anything Also, Oh, one thing that I also forgot to say is after exfoliating your lip. Oh, and just to let you know, because I was saying that it is really hard to find a product 
to help exfoliate your lip. I have found like a really great product at Sephora. It's like a lip treatment product. And I will be definitely discussing about that. But tomorrow I will be uploading a video on the do's and don'ts of what you want to do and what you actually don't want to do as far as getting your skin prepared uh, when you're getting ready to use, in uh, you know, alpha hydroxy acid or beta hydroxy acid. Um, I'll upload that tomorrow. So anyway, I love you all and have a great night. Take care.